There is Amir Shok Samadov, 19 years of age. Samadov preparing for his second bout of the 2021. Jakub Strzeski boxed in the first preliminary round. So this is the third contest of the 2021 AIBA Youth World Boxing Championships for him. Maslan Binamza of Malaysia is the referee. So we're underway then, 91 kilogram heavyweight action featuring boxers from Uzbekistan and Poland. The boxer wearing red. Amir Shok Samadov. And the tall South Port, slightly taller South Port wearing blue is Jakub Strzeski. Strzeski, 2020 national youth champion in the 91 kilogram heavyweight division here in Poland. Just took a good right hand. We need to fall it hold to the proceedings in a moment because the straps on Samadov's head guard are flapping around particularly on his right hand side or well, the left isn't much different either wouldn't want a stray flap to cause a problem for either Samadov or Strzeski Strzeski here in his third bout of the tournament, we've got 24 boxers in the men's 91 kilogram heavyweight division. So Strzeski boxing in the round of 32. Produced a terrific performance in a unanimous point decision over Kevin Berry in the previous round to book his place here. One win away from the medal podium now. What an accomplishment that would be for a Polish athlete the World Championships competing here in Poland. Tournament behind closed doors, but some of the volunteers were able. Many of his compatriots making quite an atmosphere here. In this, event, this tournament that's been contested in COVID safe conditions. Getting onto the front foot is Samadov looking to close the distance. Moving well, almost incessantly to his right is Strzeski, but he takes a reverse one two there as Samadov scores with a right left combination. Operator up there in the ring is Strzeski. The counter punch, but was nudged by a left hand by the advancing Samadov. Left hook goes over the top from Strzeski, followed by Tangle, where the, the referee is allowing them to work their way out of there. Samadov, I'd have thought, would have been looking to get his hands free and work away. So the first round in the book. In our first heavyweight contest here on this action, afternoon of quarter-final action. 3-2 split in favor of Samadov. Which is A, B, and C. Given the work of the man in red. D and E. Very neat. The longer range punch picking of the man in blue. Second house, please. Thank you. 
Round two. So into the second round then, after an evenly contested first three minutes, who will be able to change something, perhaps quicken the tempo, get over the front foot, establish the jab, come with attacks in waves, something different to try and turn the tide more decisively in their favor after it was a very even affair over the first, the three, first three minutes. 3-2 three, in favor of the man in red is how the ringside judges scored it. So again, plenty of encouragement from the volunteers. We're doing a sterling job here at Kielce 2021 at the Halalegianov. Check right hand was a clever shot from Strzeski, and then he comes through with an eye-catching left cross, and it's Strzeski looking to change things by getting onto the front foot and driving the more compact figure wearing red backwards. Check right hand looking for... Strzeski's looking for that check right hand once again. Both boxers being spoken to forcefully about the infringements of holding. Good left hand landed by Samadov as the two boxers came together. Then a right cross underneath. Both boxers keen to show the referee that it's not them doing the holding. Right hand to the body. Speared in by Samadov on the resumption. It's tidy on the inside once again. And both parties equally culpable here for my money. They're going to have to watch themselves. They don't want to full foul of the referee and pick up a warning. Good left hand to the body, terrific bolo shot from the backhand of the man in blue. Hard shots being dug in by both boxers, but it was Samadov who got the better of the exchange. As he came in, Strzeski caught him with a beautiful shot, but then he didn't even blink and kept the offense going, kept the attack going, and momentarily dipped the knees of Strzeski. Walks back in again, and it's a pile driving right left, landed by Samadov, triggering into range on quick feet and letting heavy leather fly. Looking for the left hand once again, but Strzeski keeping his composure, dancing away. Using lateral movement, the second round in the book, my goodness. Some big shots being fired in by both boxers during the course of that three minutes. And the front foot pressure in the early stages of the round, combined with his punch picking, enough for Strzeski to sweep the board. So it's all square. For judges A, B and C, there is a two-round advantage for Strzeski. For judges D and E, everything on this third and final round. And to his credit, in the closing stages, Samadov showed plenty of aggressive intent. But there's an example of a terrific left hand just dug in cleverly. But this was the raiding attack launched by the man in red in the closing stages. He's going to need that type of intensity against this composed back foot boxer. Strzeski raising his right hand to the ring lights. Both men up early for work. We have got three minutes to determine who is going through to the medal platform in the 91 kilogram heavyweight division. An absorbing contest so far. Jolting right jab landed by the man in blue. He's looking to establish that rangier lead hand. Boxers trading misses through the first 20 seconds of this final round. Nice right jab landed by Strzeski. Hard right hand driven into the sternum by Samadov, but then there was a nice move by Strzeski to spin off to his right as he produced a check right hand. Samadov back into the pocket with a hard right hand into the body. Roaring forwards once again is the man in red, but there's a solid left hand out of the southpaw stance by Strzeski. Not looking to get over the front foot in this final round, but play counter-puncher. 
But for my money, that tactic to begin round two was very effective indeed. Walking the man in red backwards and sticking out a straight right jab. Again, the accuracy decreasing from both boxers. Some quality going to be needed here. Cannot fault the determination, cannot fault the desire. As Samadov lands with a good right hand to the body, turned it upwards with a bent arm, produced an uppercut. That's a solid right hand, perhaps the best shot of the entire round for Samadov. It's another untidy grappling match at close range. Same shot once again from Samadov in terms of a right hand to the body. It was a different type of right hand, but he drove it in. Continuing to tick, you just get the sense that Strzeski in particular saving himself for a big finish here. Oh, that's a terrific lead left hand from Samadov. And Samadov surely wants to be working away when they're in this territory. He seems to be more ideally suited to this type of work. Balls in once again, but neither man landing anything of good effect. Pecking right hand on the retreat, landed by Strzeski. There are 30 seconds to go in what has been a hard-fought third and final round. Strzeski wields his way forward, and in the closing stages to resonate in the mind of the judges, comes forward behind a right jab, left cross, and the left cross was a perfectly picked shot. Ten-second clapper has sounded. Samadov goes after his man. Bustling away to the body is Strzeski. Both boxers working away at close range. A trip to the canvas will be the of this third and final round. And we will be going to the judges' scorecards to see who will be going through. Strzeski raises his arms immediately. Remember, it was all square for three of the five judges after two completed rounds. Strzeski led for the other two judges. And so how are they going to score that third and final round? Strzeski landed a strong left cross, but Samadov landed his own backhand like that. And was looking to be the aggressor for large portions of the round. It's going to be very close, this one. Which way will it go? Nervous moments now for the boxers and their teams. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by split decision is the boxer from the blue corner, Jakub Straszewski. Jakub Straszewski explodes in celebration at having been declared a split decision winner, and he is overcome with emotion. 3 2, 28 29 for four of the five scoring judges. That's how close it was. Samadov playing his part in what was an incredibly hard-fought affair. And he's immensely disappointed, but it is Strzeski who goes through to the medal platform by the narrowest of margins. And that is how he did it, conceding the final round on a 3-2.